Hey, I'm Alicia from mobilitymastery.com and I get so many comments on YouTube and emails from people and questions in my Facebook group all the time probably. One of the number one things that I hear from you guys is, oh my god, this hurts. <laughs> Whether you're releasing your calves or your quads or your biceps or almost any fascia, right? If it's unhealthy, it's probably going to hurt. Why? So today I want to talk to you about why is fascia release painful? Does it have to be painful? What does it mean if it is painful? We're going to dive into that right now. And before we do, though, I want to actually just tell you or share with you a definition of pain from Thomas Myers that I love because it really just kind of flips the idea of pain on its head and makes us think about it a little differently. Uh, so most of us have had some pain at some time in our life, right? And not very pleasant. We don't usually like it. We usually want it gone. Uh, and Thomas Myers gave this definition in a video I watched years ago where he said that pain is sensation accompanied by the motor intention to run away. And if you take out the motor intention to run away, all you're left with is sensation. So you could actually say that pain is the meaning you give to the sensation you're feeling. <laughs> and I know this seems maybe a little esoteric or woo-woo in nature, but if you think about it, I mean, it's kind of true. If you look at the broader world and you open your eyes and you look at some what some people are doing, some people consider painful things pleasurable, other people would never touch that <laughs> in a million years. Um, and there's this whole gamut, right, of the meaning we attach to certain sensations we feel in our body. And that has a lot to do with this word pain or when something feels painful. So for starters, if you get on a foam roller and you're like, oh my God, youch, or you want to jump right off of it, um, you probably have a pretty sensitized nervous system and anything flooding your system with a lot of sensation might be considered painful, but it's partly the meaning that you're attaching to it. So with that in mind, I wanna dive into the actual science here of what constitutes healthy versus unhealthy fascia and why unhealthy fascia typically hurts when it's being released. So Inside your fascial system, that fascial matrix running through your whole body, including the extracellular matrix part of that fascial system, is supposed to be a lot of water. So fascia in and of itself, like throughout your whole body as a whole system, is supposed to have about 70% water in it, or made up of about 70% water. And water is very, you know, like almost immune, right, to, to, to damage, right? You can't like punch water and have it be affected. You can't manipulate water, um, obviously, unless you're changing its temperature, and then you can. Uh, but water is incredibly resilient. Water and the water content of your fascial system is actually what gives it its ability to absorb mechanical stress or energy coming into your body. So when I say mechanical stress, it could be something as simple as standing on your feet. So if you stand on your feet for a long time, I mean, depending on how much you weigh, that's actually an extraordinary, extraordinary amount of mechanical stress that you're putting on your uh, feet and the fascia within your feet, as well as your whole body. And fascia as a unit, one unit through your whole body, is supposed to absorb the mechanical stress coming in, whether it's from your feet or being in a car accident potentially, or um, even getting a massage is a form of mechanical stress, something coming into the body, your fascial system automatically will try to distribute that uh, energy coming in through your whole system through its water content. <laughs> um, kind of like, you know, throwing a pebble in a lake and it ripples out, right? The water distributes that energy or mechanical stress through the whole lake instead of just that one spot taking the big hit, right? So same thing is true in your body. And so if your fascia has lost its water content and it's not hydrated and it's become brittle and dry, 
it can't absorb energy in the same way. Now you're asking the collagen component and the glycoproteins and all that to absorb mechanical stress, and that's not the job of the collagen and the glycoproteins, it's the job of the water. So you're gonna start feeling pain upon impact, right? And so you actually have pain receptors in your fascia. So that could be also partly why some of you feel a lot of pain or intensity when you're getting on a foam roller or you're, you know, getting fascia release done, whether it's through other modalities or maybe you're learning kinetics uh, partner work at home and stepping on each other um, or just using the balls and stuff like that. So whatever it is, um, it could be because you're actually feeling and contacting some of those pain receptors within the fascia system. Um, or those pain receptors are maybe getting your attention because it's so brittle and dehydrated. But you also have a lot of nerve endings around and in your bones um, and to protect your bones. So if something is coming all the way through to the bone, it needs to get your attention. So, you know, um, whether something fell on you, you can move away quickly. You don't want to break your bones. Obviously, if you break your bones, you're going to be in worse shape than if you just have a soft tissue injury. Uh, and so your body's going to try to get your attention with that pain signal. Um, and when your fascial system is dehydrated, you're going to feel that mechanical stress or energy coming in all the way to the bone. And you're not supposed to, right? If your fascial system was actually optimized and fully water rich, right, through the whole system, then you won't feel much at all when you're getting on a foam roller or someone's stepping on you. Even if they're stepping on your IT bands or your quads, you might not feel anything at all, like nothing, not even a pleasant sensation when your fascial system is fully optimized and has that high water content. Now, there's one super important thing to keep in mind here, and that is your fascial system has a gatekeeper. <laughs> there's another system in your body that will jump in first to either protect you or make sense of what's happening uh, you know, if you're getting stepped on or on a foam roller or getting a massage, and that is your nervous system. So if you have any patterns running in your nervous system, um, whether subconscious or conscious, that maybe are preventing you from embracing the pain of changing, the pain of transformation, the pain of actually going through the motions of releasing that fascia to create healthy fascia, if you interpret that sen those sensations, right, that experience as potential threat, a potential threat or potentially traumatizing, then your nervous system is going to kick in and actually activate your fascial system to contract to protect you instead of allowing you to feel what you feel, but do it anyway in a relaxed way and then make your fascia healthy, right? So I felt like I had to include that here because your whatever is happening in your nervous system is going to largely determine the meaning you give to the sensations you feel. So every sensation we have that runs through the nervous system gets kind of imprinted on the fascia and it's more in the realm of the nervous system itself, that system that communicates to you what's happening in your body, that determines that meaning that we talked about at the beginning of the video, whether you attach meaning to it like, oh my god this sucks, or wow, this feels really good. So actually a lot of people consider fascia release to feel good. Uh, I would have to say probably 25 to 30% of the clients who come into my office love working with me. They love getting stepped on. They think it feels good. They're creating a meaning, the association to what they're experiencing as a positive, right? And because of the meaning they give to it, their experience is different than the 70% of the people that come in and go, dude, this is horrible, I hate you. <laughs> um, you know, temporarily, of course, and then they love me afterwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, about 25 to 30% of the people think it feels really good. And those of you that think it sucks and it hurts a lot, there's nothing wrong with you, you're not defective. And in fact, <laughs> sometimes the people who think it feels good might be running a different system in the nervous, or a different pattern in the nervous system that may not be super healthy either, right? Like associating too much pleasure with pain or too much normalcy with painful sensation. So keep that in mind and definitely share your takeaway from this video below. And I'd love to hear from you if you think the pain or intensity you're feeling is more 
to do with the fascia, right, your fascia. Maybe it's lost its water content, uh, maybe it's become brittle and dehydrated, maybe you're feeling those pain receptors in the fascia itself, or are you in the camp of maybe your nervous system is interpreting what's happening as a threat and thus is signaling you with a pain signal. So which camp do you think you're in? Post that below. And then what are you gonna do to work with it? Either way, right? So healthy fascia won't hurt and a healthy nervous system won't be as reactive. You're gonna have an open mind and some curiosity instead of immediately jumping into that reactivity and the meaning you give to what you're feeling. So cultivate some curiosity about both and then share your experience below in the comments. I can't wait to read them because I think this is a super uh, just interesting topic to dive into for those of us exploring our fascia because there's just a lot of sensation that occur can occur and I want you to feel like you know what's happening so it feels a little less scary. So share your comments below. Can't wait to read them. I'll see you there. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join my email community. I've got some free resources for you. You can click the link below in the description and yeah, I do free trainings via email I don't do anywhere else. So I hope you'll join me and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. You may say